Midwest Picker on YouTube. Yeah, baby. Hey, Midwest Picker here. This is a what sold video, and yes, it's true. I sold two radiator clamps for 40 bucks. Not clickbait, we're gonna get into it. Before we do, if you see my TV behind me, that's the Trash to Cash podcast with Dave Carey and Kevin. If you've never seen them, look them up on YouTube. They have great information for resellers and they're entertaining at the same time. So if you've never seen it before, go there and put in the comments that Midwest Picker sent you. I'd love to see their reaction to that comment. Before I get into the clamps, real quick, I sold a homeschool textbook. This was kind of like new out of the package, but never been touched. Uh, free to me. Sold for $29.95 plus calculated shipping on top. If you don't know, homeschooling textbooks that are unused are really valuable and sought after, especially this like this math one. Um, zero into 30 bucks, that's pretty awesome. Next is this commercial grade lever set. So this is kind of like a, like a doorknob, but a big lever. It's commercial grade, goes on big metal doors like in businesses. Source this from a restore for a buck. Sold for full asking price, $89.95 plus calculated shipping on top. Now these are long tail because this is like hardware and parts. Um, took over a year to sell, but hey, a dollar into 90 bucks, I'll do that every day. And now for those radiator clamps. And if you didn't know, people who collect antique cars like Ford Model A's, Ford Model T's, Packard's, Duesenberg's, all those really cool old cars, they love to display them in parades. They always pull them out for a parade. They keep them nice and clean, perfect condition. They rarely drive them. But when there's a parade, Memorial Day, 4th of July, whatever it is, they love to pull them out of storage and drive them in parades. A lot of these guys too love to display American flags on the front of their car, sometimes all over the car. But a lot of them like to display these little American flags attached to the radiator. And I'm gonna put pictures up as I talk. Now, if you're gonna do that, that requires a clamp. Now, I suppose you could get a cheap worm clamp from Harbor Freight or <laughs> something like that. But these guys have an authentic antique or vintage car. They want authentic vintage antique flag holders, flag clamps. And if you don't know old cars, you can see in these pictures that the radiator cap sticks out of the top of the car. You can just reach out and touch it. And they love to attach those flags to the radiator. Well, these guys wouldn't be caught dead with cheap parts or a worm clamp or just DIY it, you know. They want something genuine. Well, if you watch my previous videos, I went to this antique toy auction in person. I love, love, in-person auctions, you know, where they talk real fast and funny and you, you know, hold your hand up and accidentally scratch your cheek and then you won something you didn't want. So I won a ton of model railroad toys and vintage -y stuff and just collectibles like crazy. And I still have this blue tote off camera full of Lionel train cars and track and crossing gates and just a bunch of stuff. Well, in my previous videos too, I sold radiator clamp kits with an Uncle Sam and a flag that these guys use. Very old from the 1920s, brand new still in the package. They sold for over $200. Crazy good money. I had three. Two of them sold for way over $200. The last one didn't sell for as much, but I don't care. I made a ton of money. Cost of goods was like 25 cents a piece. So that's a previous video. If I remember, I'll link that down below. So I was digging in this blue tote over here it's got a bunch of stuff in there. I call it railroad junk, but it's got stuff in there. And I saw these two little manila envelopes, about four inches by five inches. And I thought, aha, I think I recognize those. I know what those are. And I dug them out. And what they are, it's a little clamp kit, vintage, old, exactly what these guys are looking for. And these were new in the package. So I'm going to put pictures up here. Here's a close-up picture of the uh, print on the manila envelope showing the name brand on there. This isn't just your ordinary clamp. These are very old and they're new in the package. Normally these things are old and rusted and banged up. These have never been used. I don't even know how old they are, but you can tell by the maker's mark on that envelope, they're quite old. So I listed these 
as two available. And as soon as I listed it, I was getting views, I was getting watchers, I was getting lowball offers. It got a lot of attention really fast. So I knew I had something hot. And after a couple days, this potential buyer, he sent me an offer and he said, hey, would you take 40 bucks for both of them? And I thought, hmm, let me think about that. Let's see, 25 cents a piece, 50 cents into $40, uh, you betcha. I'll probably never source anything like that again. It's very rare to find stuff like that new in the package. But this guy knew what it was, I knew what it was, and we made the deal. 50 cents into 40 bucks, I can't argue with that. And look at the feedback that this guy sent me. This is really cool. Uh, it says, excellent seller and a nice person. Isn't that nice? He said I was a nice person. Joey never tells me I'm a nice person. Next is what I call model railroad junk. This is incomplete, it's broken, does not matter. As long as you disclose that information, people can repurpose this, they can fix it up, add it to their model railroad diorama. Some of them don't even care. I listed it for $9.95 and I took a best offer of seven bucks just to get rid of it. Cost of goods, again, is probably like a quarter. Next is this Sunbeam Vintage Power Attachment, new in the box. I sourced four different kinds of Sunbeam Power Attachments from Hybrid for $2.75 a piece. This one sold for full asking price, $19.95 plus calculated shipping on top. Next is a baseball card. I know nothing about baseball cards. This thing took four years to sell. Maybe I should have promoted it like, you know, 15% to get rid of it, I don't know. I listed it for $24.95. I took a best offer of 20 bucks, gone. Next is this teeny tiny five inch collector's plate. Cost of goods, 18 cents. I listed it for $16.95. Then I put it on sale for $13.56 and I took a best offer of $12. Not bad, 18 cents into 12 bucks. Next, I sold this clad proof set. If you don't know coins, I've been a coin collector since I was eight years old. Clad coins, clad proof sets, they don't sell very well. This took forever, maybe two or three years to sell. If you're gonna source coins to resell or even to collect, I recommend the silver ones, 1964 and older, that you can flip those much faster than clad coins. I paid like two bucks for this uh, proof set like a million years ago, I don't even remember, and it finally sold. Next is another collector plate. This is a four inch square plate, so it's a little odd. It's another uh, Copenhagen collector's plate. Again, I sourced it for 18 cents. I listed it for $24.95 and I took a best offer of 17 bucks. Another great flip. This last item is pretty cool. This is a 44 Magnum uh, revolver belt buckle. I got this from a flea market. It was still new. I overpaid way too much. I paid like five bucks for it. It's kind of weird. It's like a five shot or five round. I don't know why it wasn't made at six, but whatever. It took a while. It took about two years to sell. Listed it for $16.95. Um, after, like I said, two or three years, I finally put it on sale for $13.56. And I took a best offer of 12 bucks because you know what? I was just tired of looking at it. I'm taking up space. Just get rid of it. So if you were keeping track, that's $257 in gross sales since my last What Sold on eBay video about three weeks ago. And I'm very part-time. I'm a full-time nurse. I work from home. This is just a little hobby. But $257 in gross sales in three weeks, that's not so bad. Joey thinks it was a pretty good deal. So that's the video, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please hit that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, put questions down below. Where did I source these items? Ask anything, I love answering questions. My previous video, I did a viewer question segment at the end of the video. Let me know if you like that or not. Um, as questions build up, I'll, I'll add those to future videos too. I got another video coming out in probably a couple days because I have a crazy auction ending tonight at 7 p.m. You're not gonna believe this one. It's not clickbait, but it, it is crazy. When you see the thumbnail, you're gonna say, Dave, there's no way you sold that for that much money but you gotta come back to check it out. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell icon because you're not gonna wanna miss the next video. That's it, till next time, see ya. Midwest Picker on YouTube. Yeah, baby. <laughs>